Richie well, guys, got another video here for you on how to recall or unsend emails in Outlook. So if you've got Outlook on your system and you've accidentally sent that email that you wish you never sent, then this video is for you. Now, we all know in the spur of the moment, you could type an email up and wish you never sent it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you could possibly stop making that mistake ever again. So let's go ahead and send an email to myself here so I can show you exactly what your options are. So first off, let's assume that you're sending an email to someone and we're going to go ahead and put a subject in here and we can then go ahead and give this some sort of uh, email here to myself. Now, obviously, this is not going to be sent to yourself. It's going to be sent to someone else. Now, there's a few things that you need to understand if you want to recall an email or unsend an email. Basically, once that email has left your computer and it's now gone off onto its travels to that person who you've sent it to, to be able to unsend it or recall it back to yourself so the person doesn't see it, you're going to have to follow a couple of simple steps and I'll show you these in this video. So let's go ahead and send the email first off. Now the first thing to remember is it has to be on an Outlook desktop. So online apps and also uh, just normal mobile phone apps is not going to work. Second thing, it needs to be on the same organization, basically in the same building and you can then recall that email. The third thing is Microsoft 365 or Exchange. It has to be one of those to be able to achieve the recall or unsend. Also, the email needs to be unread. If the person clicks on it and reads it, then you won't be able to do it. Also, you can't be using MAPI or POP email accounts. You won't be able to use those because you won't be able to recall the email. So you can see how difficult it is to actually recall or unsend an email once it's uh, been sent. This is making it a very small chance that you will be able to actually recall that email in the first place. So a lot of people that make videos tell you you'll be able to do this. It's going to be very unlikely. Now to try and recall it, if you do have all the requirements, then go to the sent item area and then double click on the email that you actually sent on your computer you will see something looking like this. This is the email that you sent to the person. So what you want to do here is you want to go to file and then inside here, you're going to see message resend or recall. Once you click on this option, it will give you the option to recall uh, the actual email. This will obviously delete the email from that person's inbox and remove it. It will recall the email. Unfortunately, you can see mine is grayed out because I don't fit all the criteria and I won't be able to recall any emails that I've sent. So make sure that you send the correct email in the first place. Otherwise, you will not be able to recall it in some uh, circumstances. And that means there's only a very small few of people that are going to be able to recall emails. Now, if we take a look at Microsoft's own website about Microsoft Outlook, recall or replace a sent email, you'll be able to see all of the criteria listed here. It says try it. But as you can see, it says if you or your recipients are all on Microsoft Exchange or Microsoft 365 and it's in the same organization, you can recall or replace an email message that you've sent. It says important if your account is in MAPI or POP account, recall won't work. So it tell you exactly what you can do there on how to recall it, which I've just shown you. And if we look at the note section down there, it says if you select a deleted unread copies, so unread copies of emails, that means it can't be read. So if someone clicks on it, it's too late. You're not going to be able to recall that email. And that's important. Now, most people are going to have their inbox open and it will show them an email has just come in. And again, most people will need to be on the same organization, on the same network, and also using the Microsoft Exchange or Microsoft 365. So it's very small uh, window of opportunity for you to actually delete an email that you've actually sent by mistake. So what other options can you do to actually avoid making this mistake again? Well, what you can do is we'll send another email here. And what we'll do is we'll set a delay on this email. Now, delaying emails is the best way to protect yourself because we all know that sometimes we type an email out, maybe in anger, maybe sometimes you're typing an email out and uh, you wish you never sent it. So always do this method. 
go to the options tab and then go to the three dots and you'll have an option here for delay delivery. What that's going to do is allow you to set up a delay delivery for that one particular email and it will be listed right here. This will give you that cooling off period or that time before you actually initially send the email. So if you change your mind or you want to edit the email later on, you can do. So you can set it as a time of maybe uh, six hours or 10 minutes or whatever it is you feel the need to be able to have it in your outbox without it being sent out. So it gives you the option to go in and edit that video at a later date, just in case there's been a mistake or you've typed something in anger and you wish you never said it. So I would always do this method if it's an email that I'm sending uh, to someone and I want to think it over before I send it, but I might write it out first, then it will go to my outbox. So once you have this all set up for a date and a time, and you can send this late in the night when maybe they're not in work and it will give you a chance to recall it if you're in the same organization. But if you're not, it will give you a cooling off period to be able to go back into your outbox and delete the email or even edit it and take out some of the things that you've said. It's that simple. Now, another option to do this on all your emails is go up to file and then rules and alerts. And this will set a new rule to make sure this new rule is going to be sent for all your emails. So once the rule wizard opens, come down to the very bottom here and it will say apply a rule on your messages that you send. So what you want to do is click next here. Now you've got some other options that you can check mark here. So maybe it's mark as important or whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, but you can leave these unchecked if you wish. But there is some things in there that you might want to uh, check mark. So go next. And what once we go next, it's going to say this rule will be applied to every message that you send in this account. Is this correct? You're going to say yes. And now we get the option to delay the delivery in a number of minutes. So you can check mark whatever one you want here. I'm going to check mark this one down the bottom and it will say uh, by a number of minutes here. So let's go ahead and click on the minutes bit down in this step two area. And this will allow us to add in a number of minutes that we want. So 10 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you feel the need. Maybe you're sending a, a, you know, an email in anger because you're quite angry uh, and you can delay this by 30 minutes to cool off and maybe you'll change your mind and not send that email. But let's just put 10 minutes for now and we can now go to the next step here, which is uh, mark as important or urgent or sensitive or whatever it may be if you want to. Or you can leave it as is and click finish. And now when you send your emails, it will go to your outbox automatically and it will wait before it sends them for the actual time limit that you set inside that rule. And this is probably going to be the safest way before you send out any emails. It will go straight to your little outbox there and it will wait until the time that you've set in there before it sends them out. And you can set this for whatever time you like and it will give you a time to call off or even edit that email before it's actually sent at the time you specify. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. Bye for now.